I go with tea uh, because it's not just you know having tea in the morning. Uh, uh, so whenever I have tea, uh, I get reminded of T T E A an acronym. T stands for thoughts, E for emotions, and A for actions. I become very conscious with you know spreading healthy thoughts, healthy emotions, and healthy actions. Yeah, holistic health I'm talking about, not just the physical, but emotional, spiritual, and psychological. So and and this beautiful cup, as you see, uh, uh, beet beet ceramic or beet heart. Uh, it often gets uh, broken into pieces sometimes, isn't it? Yeah, it, it does. It does uh, has a shelf life. So usually, what we do, we throw them, we discard them, isn't it? But what if I if I tell you that you now there is a process, and uh, it's not just you know physical process, but uh, but a very deep and divine uh, process of repairing. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I think most of you have got it. I'm talking about. Kintsugi. I'm talking about Kintsugi. 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 Kin means you know, gold in Japanese, and uh, sugi means repairing. Sugi means repairing. Yeah. So with the help of gold, the broken things are repaired. Um, Kintsugi. Off late, I think uh, uh, six months uh, past. Um, some of you would have enjoyed the movie Patan of Shah Rukh Khan, and Shah Rukh Khan in that movie. Uh, uh, highlights on this Kitsugi and uh, if you remember, if you are a Die Hard fan, like me of Shah Rukh, <laughs> yeah, but Shah Rukh may kabhi maaf nahi karunga, whenever you know he uh, promotes uh, soft drinks or maybe other things which are uh, harmful, I uh, social media pe upfront this baat ki unki burai karta hu, but when it comes to his commitment, when it comes to his good work, his uh, fitness and when it comes to his acting skills and rest of the things, I, I really uh, bow down to him, I really salute him. I have a lot of respect for Shah Rukh Khan for his contagious energy. And I try my level best not to sound like him, but you know, it's like uh, mirror neurons. And uh, right from my college days, I think, uh, rather school days, somehow I'm in sync with uh, Shah Rukh Khan, and I'm a, not just a fan, but I have a lot of respect for Shah Rukh Khan. Okay, so uh, so in Pathan also, if you remember, he forms Joker G O C R Joint Operations Covid Research. Uh, kind of an or, or organization, small organization, if you recall that, and uh, this based, then this organization is about you know um, giving one more chance, one more opportunity for all those agents of raw uh, who were forced somehow to retire because of you know past trauma or maybe you know certain injury, uh, which with the organization the government didn't feel that they are I mean, not the right fit, but then uh, they had this uh, they had this fire in the belly. To continue uh, to serve the nation their best in the best in the best possible way. So uh, Shah Rukh Khan identifies this this hunger of all these people, and he 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 proposes to Dipan Kapadia in that movie as he, uh, he that you know form form a joker. Well, uh, I also believe in Kim uh, and today, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, 15th of July is uh, again one of the milestones in my my my, my uh, life. Because two years ago, in 2021, 15th of July, I underwent open heart surgery. This is why I said that if you have a cup of ceramic or a dil, it will be broken. Physically, also, my heart was repaired by the by the heart surgeon, and uh, it was CABG2. And um, I don't want to get into more into that, you know, open heart surgery. But uh, soon after that, my wife asked me to um, why not have this kind of a mission of book reading series. Because it will, it will have immense benefit to all the people, at least those who are into book reading and uh, not just enriching vocabulary but exchanging innovative and insightful ideas and um, co exploring, co evolving life in the most holistic possible way. That was one of my mission aside my ongoing training programs and fitness regime. I'm mean, a uh, flat tummy human, as you all know. So, uh, thank you very much, Kranti, for being there always. Um, you are a great monk for me, as I keep saying. You are spiritually so 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 involved. I don't know whether I'll be able to catch up with that, but you've been kind enough, generous enough. I think God has sent you from my past, or maybe you are come from the future to know, uh, make me realize what I am. So definitely, we've been there since ages. Uh, I say, uh, since so many lives together, in some some way or the other, we've been always together. So thank you very much, God. So Kint Sugi, Kint Sugi, as I said. Now let me tell you about this book, uh, like Sababavi. And uh, Ikigai, Sabawabi is an ability to see beauty where others see some kind of ugliness or some kind of damage. That's Wabasabi. 
and ikigai i think and all you all understand okay so kintsugi is a process kintsugi is a beautiful process of mending broken things and uh, way back i think in 15th or 16th century a japanese um, one of the heads i don't remember maybe a king or, uh, he had his cup and the big cup uh, got got broken and he sent all the way he, this cup to the china uh, to mend it to repair it and the chinese when they sent it you know, it was stapled with some metallic things and it was looking very ugly so the person uh, being very powerful he, he asked his people to to uh, repair this cup in most beautiful way whatever the possible way and they they they, they could use the the gold um, filling uh, in the cracks and, and 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 the cup in fact looked uh, more beautiful more beautiful this is how people say that this was the genesis of uh, kintsugi but uh, google out more information about kintsugi it dates back a long way uh, long to, to, cut, to cut the long story short ladies and gentlemen boys and girls there are many books when it comes to kintsugi and this i picked up embrace your imperfections now uh, kintsugi embrace your perfection and find happiness the japanese way by by, by thomas navaro thomas navaro is a psychologist and uh, i have heard a couple of his uh, talks on youtube as well thomas navaro um, kintsugi so what he's talk, what he's talking about beautifully you know he's talking about few things I'll explain the ancestral art of kintsugi to help you repair your life your dreams and your work go and find the gold i kept in the box on the top shelf Uh, uh, if you ask me, the gold infers to me uh, being inert element. Inert, you understand? Inert in the in the periodic table. Inert in the sense, you know, they are non-reactive. So for me, gold is an analogy uh, of conscious and compassionate life. Being inert, being non-reactive, even when you are surrounded with adversity and a lot of negativity. Yeah, fathom all that kind of a possibility, that the potentiality will be able to work in anything in life. that's what you know i keep talking about that you know uh, rising like a phoenix you know repairing uh, resurrecting the high purpose the divine divine power and uh, no looking back rise like a phoenix so ladies and gentlemen the part 1 part 2 part 3 these are part 3 part 1 is uh, raku yaki the art of essential living with adversity and pain he is talking a lot about pain he says importance of pain is the pain is very essential because the, if you imagine if you don't have a pain and if the hand is getting into fire the hand will get burned but when there is a when there is a pain very soon you know like this kind of you know reflex action we are able to save our hand so likewise pains even when it comes to psychological pain we need to learn lessons from it and should not repeat the mistakes but don't get buried bogged down by the pain overcome it that's what so what hurts why me how do we react with face with the adversity can life be rebuilt this very important lesson i personally loved it part to the art of repairing our lives pick up the pieces and analyze the situation learn from what happened connect with your emotional strength yes give us a certain chart repair what is broken make your scars beautiful i keep saying turn your scars into stars right give by example part 3 is about the art of persevering repairing your job loss repairing your self esteem repairing your life okay so show ladies and gentlemen boys and girls you will definitely find this book i mean this process of kintsugi very very important very very significant you know maybe very crucial uh, in your life because beat you beat me beat anything beat any materialistic thing be it could be ceramic or it could be art or it could be anything in life you know the tendency is to um, get broken but uh, then we have a choice to dump that broken pieces and deteriorate your life and might a lot of problems or you bounce back with a bang so we like to leave you with a bang and the bang is basically you know know your true potential when it comes to one of my uh, inspirations you will so see uh, you know, uh, rambo rocky silver stallone you know he keeps saying you all know that you know that the world is not um, a place of sunshine or a rainbow it's a very mean and nasty place it will you know um, it will bring you down but it is not about how hard you hit but it's all about you know how many hits you take and keep moving forward keep moving forward you know that's what and i keep saying that you know uh, what can beat me uh, when i see the same beat beats in every bit uh, ladies and gentlemen thank you very much once again bye bye